Thank you, everyone. Last night, we had such an invigorating session. We had 11 amazing African-focused startups uh, that gave us like the amazing dreams and ambitions and sold their businesses to us. Uh, we were very excited uh, to have our, our, our startups pitch. Um, and for today, we're going to award uh, the prizes. So um, to, to start it off, we'd like to introduce you to our first prize winner. Uh, they just found out a few seconds ago. So let's introduce Solar Freeze, please. Hi, hi everyone. My name is Dismas Kisilu, the CEO and founder of Solar Freeze, and I work in Kenya. So this is Mama Sarah, uh, Mwende, and Dunge. Together they own a small two-acre farm just outside of Nairobi. Uh, planting uh, perishables such as kills and tomatoes. But every season there's a problem that they have. About 45% of their produce goes to waste even before they, they get to the market. So what Solar Freeze does is provide a simple but effective walk-in cold storage for them. They pay as little as uh, 10 Kenya shillings, which is like 0.1 US cents, uh, for them to store their produce and also uh, prevent post service loss for them. The problem is really huge in Africa, as you're aware. So if you go to a lot of uh, small-scale farms, every season you, you see that the waste they, they, they have is really huge, as well as uh, also in the urban markets. Uh, the World Bank, as well as the uh, FAO, estimates that it's a $310 billion problem, where produce goes to waste, uh, 40 to 50% of it. So a good example right now, currently in Kenya, where we have tomatoes. Uh, I, I can tell you like two months ago, the price was uh, 30 Kenya shillings for a kg. But right now in February, the, the same tomatoes are going for 110 Kenya shillings. So you can see over a very short period of time, the, the spike is really huge. So if small scale farmers have access to uh, preservation technology, they can get to uh, wait out the glut and uh, sell their produce as, at optimum prices. So our product is uh, what we build, a uh, walk-in cold storage, um, very effective and uh, very affordable for small-scale farmers and right next to the farm gate, uh, solar-powered cold storage. So we also use data to connect the farmers to the markets, especially in the urban cities, where because of the price, uh, price information, they are not aware of what's, what's happening in the urban centers. So we use uh, the information to uh, get them customers, especially from restaurants and supermarkets. We also use IoT to monitor the units remotely, so giving us temperature information and giving us uh, real-time data about what's happening on the ground. Our competitive advantage is that uh, we have a simple pay-as-you-store model where you, you just pay on a daily basis and you also give you information about the market in the urban centers. Our team is made up of engineers and uh, people with agricultural background, but our biggest uh, our biggest, uh, I think, win is that we, we grew up in the rural areas and now we want to make a better stories, especially for our grandmoms and for our moms still living there. To date, we have uh, worked with uh, 3,000 small-scale farmers, reducing post service loss by 95% and increasing incomes by 200% for them. So this is Solar Freeze and uh, join us in making agriculture a more profitable venture for small-scale farmers. Thank you. So we'd like to do the official um, check presentation to, to dismiss. So please go ahead. Yeah. Go, go, Santa. Go, Santa. Go in the middle so they can take your picture. Next, we'd like to invite uh, our group from Sundial Brands to present the Community Commerce Prize. Buena. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear myself. Hi, <laughs> I bring greetings from Sundial Brands. My name is Simone Jordan and I head our community commerce 
And I'm also here with my colleague, Eden, um, who spoke earlier about the importance of the African consumer. We're so excited to be here. Um, not only are we celebrating the African consumer and the opportunities there, but also the African entrepreneur. And so if you know a little bit about our company, about Sundial Brands, it was founded by Rich Lou Dennis, who is a uh, Liberian born, and his family is from Sierra Leone, and he came into the U.S. and was able to start Sundial Brands and started the business with Nubian Heritage. He sold the goods on 125th Street, and then from there, he became a vendor to other suppliers so that others in the community could also have opportunity. And this is what we're seeing in the pitches that we experience is really about community building. Um, and that is something that we celebrate. So we're giving an award based on purpose and how the business uh, helps with community. And we do it through a model called community commerce. And with community commerce, we've been able to invest $6 million um, into communities in the US, but also in Africa. And we do a lot of our work within our supply chain. So with the Shea Butter Cooperatives in Ghana, in Tamale, um, we're supplying the women, we're paying the women premiums and bonuses for their goods. So this is what, I, I think it shows the power of entrepreneurship and a guy from Liberia was able to create a multi-million dollar brand called Shea Moisture and it's still serving its consumer in a beauty space, but beyond. So really excited to be here and continue to um, continue in our purpose and award someone today with, are we all good? Um, with the Purpose Prize. And so the person that we thought really, really um, had a really good idea of not only how he's helping communities and how he's celebrating and creating learnings for others to be able to make money, um, but he's a champion himself. For him to have come here and really talk about how, uh, I think I'm giving it away, but Ruxel, if you can come to the stage. Yeah. And so I just want to give a little more of a celebration of his business. He, he took us through a personal journey of his um, where he was homeless and was able to create this business that now serves his community and also is sustainable and eco-friendly. So we definitely thought it was a great concept. And we tend to uh, put most of our investments into women. And so while it is that we are really serving women through community commerce so that they can help their businesses, we thought that his idea and how he's improving his communities we thought was exceptional but i also want to uh, i know this is kind of unscripted but we wanted to give a third prize because we thought that there was someone else who uh in her business um, was doing amazing things and so we okay, we say? want to give um dr lucy from women's choice the uh, second award <laughs> Um, and the award amount will be for $2,500. Uh, we don't have a, a check for presentation for you today, but we'll make sure that we get you an actual check. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see a picture with her as well. Thank you very much. Um, so next, we'd like to invite Okendo Luis Gill to present to the Hiram Bands Harvard Prize winner. Okay. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> All right, so my job here is fairly simple tonight. I'm here to explain both the process and introduce you to two Haramians who will um, present, announce the winner of the Harambians Harvard Prize. So for those of you who do not know, Harambians are young African innovators, uh, about 300 of us who collect have left, collectively have raised over half a billion dollars and started companies such as Andela, Yoko, Flutterwave, uh, you name it. And this is the second 
uh, Harambian's Harvard Prize. And what we, uh, in the process, was fairly simple. Uh, a subset of the new venture competition finalists were invited to apply. Applications were reviewed, candidates interviewed, votes casted, and a winner selected. The winner will receive a $2,500 check, sign the Harambian's Decoration in Bretton Woods, and ascend to the Alliance as a member of the 2020 class of Harambians. As a Harambian, the winner will have a God-given right to $100,000 courtesy of the Harambians Prosperity Fund, a co-investment vehicle uh, aimed at accelerating the growth of Harambian-founded ventures. Uh, without further ado, though, I'm very pleased to have with us uh, two Harambians, uh, Ms. Yasmin Kumi, a graduate of Oxford University and founder of uh, Africa Fortside Group, and Ms. Layota, uh, a member of the class of 2019 and graduate from Yale and now doing her PhD at Cambridge University. So together, they'll help us um, announce the first two. Ms. Kumi, the floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. On behalf of my fellow Harambians, I am pleased to recognize Bride Chen Yundu, founder of BroadPay, as the 2020 winner of the Harambians Harvard Prize. The prize is the vision of African innovators by African innovators for the benefit of African innovators. The award is a celebration of African teams with a proven track record of execution. Entrepreneurs capable of meeting weekly, monthly, and quarterly targets in spite of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Innovators determined to transform Africa's challenges into opportunities. Harambians building Africa's future. Bright, as you encounter the inevitable trials and tribulations of the entrepreneurial process, please hold firm to the promise of the Harambians Declaration. Yet in the end, the Africa the generation desires can be one, it exists, it is real, it is ours. Uh, our last prize will come from Shreyas Navare, the CEO of Ladderworks. Thanks, Karen. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Shreyas. Uh, and as a kid, I got the opportunity to uh, visit Tanzania. So all those childhood memories are flooding back as I stand before you today. Uh, as Karen mentioned, I am the CEO of Ladderworks. We are a publishing startup of picture books uh, created by diverse storytellers on the stories of inspiring startups. Uh, these books are aimed at inspiring at least a million kids and youth around the world to become uh, social entrepreneurs. So without any further delay, I am delighted to present the Ladderworks Prize uh, to Solar Freeze uh, to convert their story into a picture book. Uh, we are sure their story will inspire everyone to make a better tomorrow, uh, which is uh, more equal. Thank you. Thank you. 